Hi, I'm Scott, and uh, I've got a stack of bespoke post boxes that uh, haven't opened. Um, some of them have been opened, actually, but uh, haven't had a chance to really use most of the stuff in all of them. A um, few I have, so I'll give a review of what I know um, on each specific product. But uh, anyways, uh, I've got six of them, and uh, go ahead and start. I'm not going to do them in a monthly order. I'm just going to tell you what the name of the box is. Um, and you can go from there. Some of these boxes, even though they're a couple months old, are actually still available on the website. Um, but if you don't know what Bespoke Post is, it's a um, $45 uh, box. And uh, basically they send you uh, lifestyle products for men. And um, unlike Birchbox, which, which focuses on uh, grooming stuff, um, they focus on basically getting you a box that's themed around an experience. I honestly think this is probably one of the best subscription boxes for men out there, mainly because of the variety of stuff. You have your choice to pick if you want the box or not, and you get a choice typically from multiple boxes. So most of the months that uh, you'll see, I picked one of those boxes, um, and actually in one of the months I picked both of them. Um, because both the boxes are really good, and most of the times they are easily worth over the $45. Um, so anyways, here we go. All right, so first up we got Shade. Um, this one is all basically about uh, getting ready for summer. Um, so what they've got in here is a pair of Wayfarers. Uh, these, I'm not a big Wayfarers person. I basically wear all black military style sunglasses most of the time, but my girlfriend loves the hipster look, so I got these for her. Um, I got these glasses actually because on their website, they are, I think, $75, $80, something like that. Um, so easily makes this box worth the $45 that I spent on it. Um, so anyways, uh, these are the glasses. They're uh, tortoise, tortoise shell, and um, my girlfriend thinks they look freaking awesome on me. Um, unlike the birch box glasses, I actually kind of like them. Um, they do fit my face pretty well, um, and despite me really hating the hipster look, I'll, uh, I'll probably end up wearing these this summer. Um, but anyways, really nicely made. I mean, these are glasses you would expect to, to pay top dollar for. Um, also comes with a really nice uh, glasses case as well. Alright, so they also included some sunscreen. Um, this is SPF 18. Um, one of the things they, they also have kind of like a, um, a guide on there like Birchbox does. Basically, they put about three posts on each box about how to use each product or um, why each product can help your summer and, and sometimes just some uh, advice or uh, cool things on there. They, they basically say that uh, high SPF is almost pointless. Um, I disagree spending a lot of summers um, out in the sun and using low SPF on my face and then regular SPF on, or higher SPF on my body, uh, I can immediately tell the difference between higher SPF and lower. But anyways, um, this is really cool. It's basically a, uh, a nice little dispenser rather than a little bottle. You're, you squeeze it all out and sometimes squeeze too much. Um, haven't had a chance to use this, but uh, it, it looks like it's a really good um, sunscreen. So I'm excited to try this. I'll probably just use it on my face. Um, and then also in the box, uh, they have a bracelet. Um, I've tried so many times, this is what my girlfriend has, to try to make this fit, um, figure out how this is supposed to, you know, fit for a guy. Um, it's way too loose on me. Um, it, it looks pretty retarded um, for me to wear it. I just don't know if I'm not smart enough to find out a way to wear this correctly. The only other way I can think of to wear it is just crazy tight. Um, so anyways, this is probably the one thing in the box that I'll never use. Uh, I may give it to a sibling or, or somebody to wear and use, but uh, not not my, my type. Uh, but anyways, this box, like I said, easily worth the $45 just for the sunglasses alone. I'll definitely be using these, even if I only get uh, four or five uses out of them this summer. Um, it's it worth it to me, uh, as long as I don't lose them. Alright, this one is threaded. This was actually the first box I got from them. Um, I debated on getting this box, but because my um, main reason on getting a lot of the subscription boxes to um, basically look a lot nicer, step up my dressing game, um, kind of this I thought would force me to do that. Um, one of the things we got in here is a 
Um, totally blanking what it's called right now. That's uh, what happens when you make a video late at night. Um, pocket square. And uh, I actually really like this just because it's a white pocket square, but it's got a little bit of red to it. Red is probably one of my favorite colors, um, as I'm wearing a red shirt right now. But it, uh, it's very nicely made. I mean, it'll go perfect with the suit, especially if I uh, wear a black suit with a little bit of red flare. That, uh, it'll definitely make it stand out. All right, next we got a skinny tie. Um, plaid, gray, and has a little bit of pinkish red in it. Um, this, surprisingly, if you wore this and added this, um, even with a, uh, just a mild-mannered suit, uh, definitely just a little bit of red in this will make it have a lot of character to it. Um, so anyways, really happy with this. Um, also, we've got two pairs of gold toes. Um, what I like is that they did include just a regular pair of socks. I would say that 90% of what I wear when I dress up is going to be black on black on black, mainly because of that's what I have to wear um, for work. So basically we're glad that they include some black gold toes in there that I can definitely get a lot of use out of. Plus they also have a little bit, um, I've seen a lot of really funky socks that uh, they include in some subscription boxes, but this ones are a lot mild, more mild mannered. Uh, especially if they end up getting exposed, you can probably get away with wearing those at work if you have a, a strict dress code. And then lastly, we've got a little tie bar. Um, I really like it just because it's very, it's extremely uh, low profile. It doesn't really stand out like a gold one would or have a crazy logo on it. It just is literally a simple regular tie bar with a tiny little logo on it. Um, but anyways, really, really happy about that one. Alright, so that one is threaded. And um, as far as it being worth $45, I mean, this one's a little bit harder for me to justify the $45 on. Uh, I am very glad I got gold toe socks. These Basically, if you buy even like three pairs, uh, I can get almost $20 if you buy the nicer ones. So, happy to have two pairs of nice socks. Um, and a tie. I'd argue that this is probably worth, in my opinion, around $40 for the box. Um, but anyways, if you think these are cool items and you would definitely end up getting a lot of use out of them, then I'd say, yeah, hands down, it's worth the $45 that you spent on the box. Um, this one actually wasn't so bad because I got a little discount on it uh, using a coupon code. Um, I'll post that if you want to get basically $20 off uh, your first box. All right, next up, I believe this one is Shave. Shave 2, actually, because uh, they had a previous Shave box, and then they they basically do it. They're, a lot of their really popular boxes, they'll come out with a second version of them um, with just some different stuff in it, mainly because the boxes will sell out, and then people will still want to get the items that are in them. So Shave 2, I really was really happy about this because um, I use a safety razor, and I think this was a lot of good items that if I can't use them, I can definitely give them to somebody who wants to get into the um, wet shaving game. Um, one of the things that I don't have here is actually they included the Dollar Shave Club um, Executive uh, Razor. I think it only came with one blade, but I just really gave that to my girlfriend. I don't use it and she can actually get more use out of it than me, surprisingly. Um, so anyways, what we got is this is kind of their, uh, I believe it's their travel set from eshave.com. This, I think all this stuff alone is about $45, $50. So it basically costs about the same, but the fact that I, I also got the other razor um, and also a brush made me happy. I'm not going to really use this brush. I'll probably hand it down to somebody else and get more use out of it. It is a fine badger brush, um, which it's definitely a lot better than the cheap one I was using before uh, that I picked up at Walmart. Um, but it basically has their uh, their full regimen. They've got uh, their pre-shave oil. These are all white tea scented. Um, the pre-shave oil, this is the one item of all this stuff that I haven't gotten a chance to try. Um, so hopefully I'll get to try it soon. Um, they also have their shave cream. Um, I've actually been using this for a month. and. Uh, I don't know if you can see really well there, but there's probably about two or to three weeks left of this. Um, it takes an extremely small amount to get a very good lather, um, especially if you're going to do two passes. So 
this this is an awesome shave cream. I'm more of a soap guy, but this is has definitely got me thinking about uh, trying out more of their stuff. Um, next, we've got their after shave cream. This is basically more of a lotion for your face. Um, I like it just because it's also got the white tea scent, and um, this was really nice because I was deployed and it had a small little thing for my face. But uh, same thing, using this for a little over a month and uh, easily. Uh, got another probably two weeks left in there. Um, a little goes a very long way with this, unlike a lot of the other um, face balms or aftershave creams that I've, I've used. Um, next they have a little metal stand. Uh, I'll open up so you guys can see it. I actually have a nice little plastic stand that holds my razor and my brush. Um, but this one's meant for that brush, so I'll give it to whoever I, I end up ha handing that down to. But uh, it's a neat little stand. Um, previously I was using actually a rubber band to hold my uh, brush upside down so this is this would have been nice then um, but anyways like I said I already have a plastic one that holds my uh, razor and my brush but definitely a, a nice thing. This box is uh, easily worth probably about fifty dollars is what I put a, a price on it. For me just having these and getting to try this stuff out as part of the bespoke post um, was worth it enough to me. I really think eShave makes some great stuff and I'm definitely going to be looking into more of their stuff in the future. Um, and then like I said, I'll be handing that stuff down so hopefully it gets some good use. Alright, next up we got Refresh. Um, this is probably the most awesome box I've gotten from Bespoke Post. This box of awesome. Um, even though I already subscribed to Birchbox, and some of these items I've actually gotten a chance to use before. Um, this, this stuff in here is probably uh, worth it just alone for the bag. So basically what you've got in here is uh, a Blue Claw Dop bag. Um, if you go to the website and look at Blue Claw stuff, like this bag alone, I think is the one that they have that's close to this, it has a little bit of leather on the bottom here and here rather than a strap that's right here. Um, it is, I think, $60, $70. Um, yes, you probably think that's crazy for a, a bag, but when you actually see the construction of this bag, I mean, it is hands down the most awesome bag I've, I've ever seen made. It's got a cool little blue um, lining on the inside, and uh, that's kind of their signature. They've got a little blue thing on everything. I've actually got another bag from them that I'll show in my um, sweat box. But what's cool is not just the bag, but everything that we have in here. Um, so it's a lot of grooming products. And um, originally, like I said, when I signed up for this, I was looking to step up my um, my dressing, dressing game and uh, also with Birchbox stepping up my grooming game. So this kind of did both. I got a cool, nice bag and a lot of stuff. So uh, we've got right here a shampoo and conditioner from um, Paul Mitchell. Uh, so awesome reviews of this stuff. Plus, I mean, it's a full-size product. This is not a, a cheap little sample that you're getting from Birchbox. Um, then we've also got uh, Cremo Wash. Heard amazing things about this. I looked up reviews on this, and basically it, it's, a lot of the reviews say it's pretty much the best face wash you can get. Also relatively inexpensive. So I'm pretty excited to try both of those. Um, one of the things, this was actually not on the preview of the box, um, so it was actually kind of a, a weird surprise that I saw it in there, but cortisone, um, this is kind of just, some. Of, I've noticed that they start doing this um, in some of their boxes, especially if they're super popular, they'll throw a couple extra items in. Um, this was pretty cool, I mean I probably don't have much use for it, uh, I do, since I live in a very dry climate, um, I sometimes do get uh, itchy on my wrists and my feet. So I'll probably get some good use out of this. But basically this was one of the things that I didn't know it was going to be in the box, um, even though you get to preview it. Um, we've got some drink well packets. Uh, basically, we see about four pills. Um, if you haven't seen these before, Birchbox has a lot has them as well. They are supposed to be a multivitamin that uh, also helps with uh, helping your liver process alcohol when you drink so you don't get a hangover afterwards. Um, I'm, I already take a, vi a multivitamin, so these are kind of pointless to me, plus the multivitamin profile that's on here is not really what I'm looking for. But uh, as far as it having milk thistle, that is basically the main product that 
ingredient in this that makes this product good for preventing a hangover. Um, so anyways, if you want to try this out, they've got uh, samples and pretty much uh, almost a lot of the sample services I've tried. Um, I think you can also order a sample directly from them on their website. So if you want to try them, go ahead and see if it works for you. I actually haven't had a chance to try this yet because uh, it takes me a lot to get a hangover. So um, anyways, if I ever try these out, hopefully they do their magic. All right, next up we've got uh, two products from Gold Bond. We've got their... Um, regular standard body powder if you've never seen this um, I don't know where you're shopping but uh, this is probably the most popular foot powder um, that they've got out there body powder um, I use this a whole ton especially in my boots um, also on more sweaty parts of your body it works amazing um, it makes you feel fresh and clean it's awesome um, also saw this this, is, this is, seems to be something that uh, Gold Bond is handing out samples to everybody to try it's basically their everyday moisturizer um, for your hands, uh, body, and feet, uh, as well as your face, surprisingly. But uh, I wouldn't really use this on your face if you have sensitive skin. But anyways, um, I, used, I used it while I was uh, in Afghanistan, obviously very dry there. Um, and the water is very bad for your skin, so um, I, I used it on my hands and my feet, and it definitely made a difference. It, it was actually pretty nice in the fact that it didn't leave my skin super oily or super gross feeling, which some of the cheaper lotions do. Um, but anyways, uh, pretty pretty impressed with this stuff, and I'm um, glad I got another sample of it to try. All right, and then we've got two more. Uh, we have more from uh, Paul Mitchell, basically a uh, matte finish, a hair hair hold, strong hold, whatever. Anyways, it's a texturizer for your hair. Um, right now, I have long hair. I I typically have extremely short hair, and so I'm actually going to try this out and see how it works. Um, I don't know really about texturizing my hair because my hair is extremely thick and it probably will weigh it down even more, um, but I will I'll definitely be giving this a shot. And then uh, we've got a sample of Marvis. If you saw my um, Birchbox videos, I already got a sample of this, so basically I've got probably a month's supply of this toothpaste now. Um, I do know a little bit of this goes a long way. It's been very popular. Um, so, pretty good sample to try and um, only heard good things about it. And that's it. Um, like I said, here's a better close-up of the box, uh, or I mean the bag. So, it's, uh, it's a pretty neat bag and uh, made extremely well. Made in the USA. Uh, if you can't see right there, there's a little uh, crab logo um, with their company right there. And then obviously we've got the awesome blue uh, inside. All right, well that's it for Refresh. All right, so this one uh, is Q. This is the one that I actually ordered. Um, I think there was Q and Refresh at the same month. Um, both of them I thought were really awesome boxes, so I ordered both of them. Um, anyways, so this is all about grilling. Um, like I said, the name of this is Q. It's got a whole bunch of stuff for um, marinating any food you're going to have. Uh, they put a bunch of recipes on the website, um, so you can check all that out. Um, but first off, we've got um, some gourmet mustard. I hate mustard with a passion, but I hate the extremely yellow, nasty French stuff. And um, basically, the more yellow it is, the, the more modified the mustard actually is. So um, I'm actually going to try this and see how it works for me. Uh, maybe it uh, tastes like garbage, and maybe it converts me into trying mustard. But uh, we'll give this a shot. All right. Um, this is Sir Kensington's ketchup. Um, it's a gourmet ketchup, and it has been... And another box that I've seen, which is um, Mantry, which Mantry, you can look them up on the internet. They are a uh, men's pantry items. They basically send full-size items to you for, I think it's $75 a month. I got one of their boxes, and I actually got to choose it. Uh, I didn't have a review because I actually got it sent to me while I was deployed, uh, which was a nice surprise. But uh, I, I don't think a lot of their stuff is worth really even $60. Um, even if you know what you're getting in the box, you're probably not going to use all of it. Uh, if you do, hey, go for it. It's $75, though, so just be aware that you're going to be spending a lot of money on food items that you may have no control on what you're getting. Um, but anyways, 
really excited to try this. I saw this, and um, even though I don't use ketchup a lot, um, if this ketchup tastes good, I will definitely use it on almost everything. Uh, it's made from whole tomatoes. That's got 50% less sugar than regular, um, probably Heinz uh, ketchup, and then also 45% less sodium. I uh, definitely like low sodium products because they make you feel bloated and uh, gross. Also gives you a lot more water retention, which is bad. But um, anyways, so if a spicy version of this ketchup, if you go directly to their website, you can actually order um, one of each of the full size. And um, the spicy ketchup sounds pretty awesome. So I'm, if I like this ketchup, I'm probably going to go out and buy uh, the spicy ketchup. All right, and then uh, it looks like it leaked a little bit, but probably because it's been sitting for a couple months. Uh, we have True Bee Honey. Um, it's all American honey, and um, I really like honey. Um, I think that it goes well on almost everything, and it's a lot better than just regular sugar you're going to put on stuff. So I'm excited to try this, probably put it in some tea. Um, actually, probably going to put some of this in uh, some beer I'm about to brew. So we'll see how it works. Um, probably tastes awesome and uh, guarantee that it will uh, make anything that you're going to marinate in taste a lot sweeter and great. Alright, so we've got a couple um, stuff of seasoning. Uh, we have some pepper. Uh, this, this is definitely overpowering the smell of this, but um, it's basically hand harvest uh, sun-dried pepper, basically gourmet pepper, and um, I'll definitely try this out. It's probably nothing too great. I mean, how great can pepper really be? It's just a regular spice, um, but I will, I will try it out and see if it's any good. And then uh, we've got a couple spices actually. Um, this is from Whole Spice uh, from Napa, and we've got a couple different ones that you can use on, on any products you have. Um, I was pretty excited to see some of this stuff because it's um, just some stuff more marinade or the change up stuff you're used to using um, and make your grilling experience a little bit better. Uh, so some dry seasoning, I cannot pronounce whatever that word is. Uh, it's kamichi, kamichiri, something like that. No freaking idea, but it's basically parsley, garlic, onion, red chili, black pepper, oregano, cilantro, sea salt, and cumin. Um, this would probably be an amazing uh, dry rub for any chicken you're going to make. So uh, I'll definitely have to try that out. Uh, and then what we've got is a chipotle and honey rub. Um, this also sounds awesome. Um, I guarantee that if you put a little bit of honey uh, and help this to stick to any meat you're going to put it on, it would just be great. I uh, love the sweet and spicy things, and I think that this is going to be probably my favorite spice to try from here. Um, and then next we have a Moroccan harissa seasoning. Um, I guarantee there's coming in this because I can smell it. Uh, chili California, chili New Mexico, coriander, uh, garlic, salt, cumin, chili cayenne, and citric acid um, is what's in this seasoning. Uh, this probably is going to be for something more spicy you're going to make. I don't really make uh, beef that has a lot of cumin and chili in it, uh, but if you're going to make some carne asada, I guarantee that this is going to be perfect for going on it. Alright, so obviously you haven't seen anything that's related to grilling yet, but that's because this is what they included for the grilling. Um, they're basically outdoor gourmet cedar planks, um, as well as hickory and alder. Um, I looked at these and I saw a lot of reviews and if you have a gas grill, these are going to make your food taste awesome. Um, gas grills basically don't impart a lot of flavor into meat, which some people like. Um, charcoal does that a lot more and you can also uh, use a smoker to obviously infuse some more flavors into your meat. But these are kind of the best of both worlds. You can put your meat on here. You can actually use this a couple times, even though the more you use it, obviously the flavors are gonna diminish more. Um, but definitely if you wanna give that nice smoky flavor to any meat without having to get a smoker um, or play around with charcoal, these are great. Um, they actually tell you on their website which ones are good for which meats. Um, but a lot of the stuff that I read said that if you don't burn these um, on your first try, which I would just put this in a uh, not as hot part of the grill, 
uh, these will probably last you at least four to five uh, uses. And obviously you can put you know, multiple pieces of meat on here. Uh, but they do also have larger planks on the website. These are more of just like a kind of a sampling of what they have. Um, but if I like these, uh, I am hands down getting more. And then also included some chips. I think these are more just kind of like snack foods which is why they're included in here, but obviously if you're going to have a bunch of food, you got to have something that the person can eat with it in the box to fit their uh, cravings. But uh, we got some blue corn chips and some jalapeno chips, which I'm probably going to eat these after I get done filming this video. But uh, it's supposed to be all natural tortilla chips, and the nutrient facts are don't make them look like they're really that healthy, so I'm going to ignore the all-natural being healthy for you. Um, but anyways, they're just regular chips, uh, just kind of more gourmet style. All right, so that's it uh, for Q. Um, this was definitely worth the $45. I basically saw that I was actually I ended, was going to get both of them. I actually paid the $45 for this box extra um, just so I could get this, mainly because when I came back, I wanted to get a lot more into grilling and spend some time on the grill making... Uh, some steaks that I wasn't able to have for a long time, but uh, all good stuff in this box, and uh, I'll probably get get a use out of every single thing in here. So definitely worth the forty-five dollars. All right, so last box is sweat. Um, saw this box, and actually I saw two other boxes that they had that month, and I was basically going to probably not get a box and um, choose to not get one for this month, which would have been the first time, um, but I ended up finally seeing this box after I was looking at their guide and I saw a couple workout stuff, um, and I've been into working out uh, for about the last year, seriously, and uh, I thought that this was awesome, mainly because you'll see there's a duffel bag in here made by the Blue Claw Co., which if you saw the uh, refresh bag, it's got it's the exact same company. Um, very well made bag. My duffel bag got destroyed in Afghanistan, so um, basically got something I can take to the gym with me. So here's the bag. Um, basically all American made. Um, most of their products have a whole ton of leather on it. I think this is the first bag that I've seen from their company that doesn't have any leather. Obviously, box costs $45. Um, they're probably not getting $45 for this bag, um, but they're also making a lot of them. Um, so they're probably making and getting their name out there. So um, anyways, this bag by itself, if you look on their website, I think the closest one to it is like $90 to $110. Uh, obviously it has a little bit more leather on it, but if I have a gym bag, I don't want leather on it because it's probably going to get destroyed and ruined and the leather is just going to get stained um, by how much I use it. So anyways, it's a pretty big, pretty big bag. Everything is extremely well made. Um, I can't find any flaws on the sewing or the material or anything like that. Um, obviously got their cool little logo here. doesn't have a uh, little imprint they had on leather before since there's no leather on here. Um, but anyways, really a bit of a fan of this company. Um, you've also got a plaid uh, liner on the inside. Kind of adds a little bit of personality to it. Uh, some people may not like it. Uh, I normally can't stand plaid, but I do like the subtle fact that it just is a a normal bag and then it's got a little bit of personality on the inside. So anyways, here's what we got. Uh, we've got a pound of isopure uh, vanilla protein. Um, as far as protein goes, uh, I've never used this stuff. I use 100% gold standard most of the time, but to be honest, protein is protein and uh, flavor is probably the most important thing in price and what you get. Um, it's a zero carb protein, so if you're worried about getting carbs in your diet, which uh, it, definitely if you're during your shredding time, carbs can be a uh, negative impact on what you have, but you still want to get that protein in your diet. Um, but it also has BEAAs, BCAAs, um, which are amino acids that help you feel not as sore. Uh, they also work well if you are on a, a low calorie diet, for example, you're trying to shred, um, it actually will allow your body to use um, protein better and a lot of those broken down amino acids to rebuild muscles rather than using your muscles for um, energy and basically losing your muscle mass that you worked on so hard. Uh, also has uh, 4.6 grams of glutamine. Glutamine also helps you by not feeling sore. 
Um, as far as the studies on that, most of them are not really pertaining to the um, fitness field as far as feeling the sore, but uh, glutamine, I, I've seen people take it and seen some great benefits from it. Uh, it does, it's been shown to make your body heal faster, heal damage faster, um, and so that's why it, it translates over to the fitness area. If you break your muscles down, people believe it will help them rebuild faster. Um, it is also gluten, lactose, and aspartame free. Uh, for those people who are afraid of taking a uh, whey protein um, and afraid of basically being on the pot because they're allergic to lactose, uh, don't have to worry about it with this. But uh, anyways, I think this is pretty cool. I'll try it out. Uh, as far as the ingredient profile, it's got, or I mean the nutrition facts, it's got 210 calories per serving. That's two spoon, two scoopfuls. Uh, there's seven uh, in here. That's a a serving of about 62 grams. It's got one gram of fat, uh, which is half a gram from saturated fat, uh, 320 milligrams of sodium. Uh, it's got 50 grams of protein, which uh, obviously no carbs, high protein, uh, is, is mainly the stuff that most people look for when they're looking for a protein. So anyways, sorry I spent so long on that. Um, it's because I know a whole lot about protein and um, which most people are going to take if they're going to go to the gym. So if you were thinking about getting this bag, not a bad bag of protein, just know that it's only seven servings. All right, next we have a uh, crew forming cream. My hair is actually currently long, um, so I'm probably going to use this just to make my hair stay in place, uh, even though I'm not really used to using a lot of stuff for my hair. So I'm going to give this a try. I'll actually probably keep it in here so when I'm done working out at the gym, I can just make sure my hair is ridiculous when I leave. And um, like I mentioned on uh, the refresh box, sometimes they include items in there that weren't originally in the preview. That's what this is, um, stick of deodorant. This is actually a huge help to me because I came back and I have basically a travel stick of deodorant that's almost gone. So I can save myself a trip to the store and, and use this. Um, Dove men's care stuff, I haven't, I've been impressed and not impressed with at the same time. but. Uh, it's deodorant. I mean, can't really go wrong. If it doesn't work, don't use it. Uh, the other thing they included in here was uh, Details Magazine. Uh, they paired up with Details for this month. Um, that's probably why the crew stuff is in there. Um, I actually looked a lot on Details website. I really had never heard of them. And uh, pretty impressed with a lot of the, the grooming advice that they have on there um, as far as suits and everything like that. There's some really good stuff on there. So good website to check out if you're thinking about stepping up your grooming game or uh, your appearance. And that is it for all the boxes of awesome. Um, I think I mentioned that only one of the boxes wasn't really worth the $45 or close to the $45. Um, so I think that, like I said, this is the best box that you can get for a guy. Um, if you're thinking about gifting it to somebody, you can always use the uh, coupon code that'll give you basically about half off your first box um, and you can order it and if they don't like it or they don't want to pick something I mean you only really spent $25 or $20 on um, what box you ended up getting so uh, this this box hands down worth the $45 the bag alone um, like I said on let's even assume that it's just one of the cheaper bags $80 um, on their website without the leather it, you paid basically got it for half off and then got a bunch of other stuff for free. So uh, anyways, pretty happy with everything. Uh, if you want to subscribe to Bespoke Post, you can just click on the subscribe link below um, in the com or in the comment section. Um, but yeah, it's, it is by far the best $45 I spend every month.